Why'd you stop calling? <laughs> um, because I don't like to call. I really, I mean, if you say, okay, I'll call your dance tomorrow night, then it's your job to prepare yourself to be so thrilled when you walk into that hall and so up that you can make it be that great experience. And when it works, it's a great feeling. But I'm a bipolar person. I didn't even know that until I was about 50. But what that meant in some of those situations was that I could go into hyperfocus calling a dance. And I really had to draw every, I knew how much fun it was. That's why I was calling. I know how much fun you can have. And here's how you get it. Oh, except he doesn't get it over there. I'm watching some guy in the corner that's not quite, and I try to pull him in with my voice. And it's just such an intense experience for me to try to pull everybody in at the same time. It blows me away that you stand up there and you're kind of relaxed and you say, okay, now everybody just circle to the left. <laughs> if some guy's not coming along, I'm gonna say, no, I'm to the left, come on, you know. So I became their, their cheerleader. And I felt responsible for every person who came there either realizing that they wanted to dance for the rest of their life or they, or they didn't. Um, they were more, first time people were more important to me than the people who already knew it was really cool. And so I called to the littlest guy, not to the connoisseur. But since I taught short, the connoisseurs got to do enough dancing in a night that they didn't seem to mind that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why don't I call? I don't like to go to that hyper place. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's an adrenaline thing. And yeah. I've used enough adrenaline in my life. I don't like that drug. I'm learning a whole different category of things by being a farmer that walks in the woods with the goats and just watches what they eat. And I love seeing that. I love being that person. And the person that gets to come to an event like this and only have these two hours, last one and this one, where I have to feel like I'm on the spot to do something that meets someone's expectation. I just, the only thing I never had, besides not being able to dance, the bigger thing was I never got to be part of the thing called us. And that's what I wanted. Suddenly I was really famous I, and it was strange to me because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't doing anything that I'd studied on becoming good at for 15 years or something. I was just suddenly this flash in the pan and, and after that I was famous and so if I went out on the dance floor and I dance with somebody, I'll get to some place on the line, you know, it's a whole level, level, level playing field until I get to so-and-so who goes, oh my gosh, it's you, you know, all of a sudden they're this nervous non-partner, you know, and, and I'm some other kind of thing, not part of the we. Mm -hmm. So in the act of creating a community that I wanted to be part of the we of, I had to be gone for quite a while before I could be back on the level field again. And now I'm back. And I get to come and call this group of people at these dance events, us. <laughs> and I'm a happy woman. <laughs>